Hello, and welcome back to Video Geek Squad. In this video, we're doing a Pictory software review and demo. If you're considering grabbing this software, I hope that this software review and demo will help you to make your decision. Also, if you haven't picked it up, please make sure you use the link in the description below. It's an affiliate link and it helps us to continue to make great videos just like this. It doesn't change the price or cost you any additional money. Now let's get into the video. Now with this video, you should get a better understanding of Pictory. This is an easy way for you to make fast videos from text, blogs, and pictures. It enables you to create and edit professional quality videos with no technical skills. There isn't any need to purchase any expensive equipment. This is an easy way for you to make faceless channels, edit the text of your videos, break down the content of your video, and so much more. Now here are the four major parts of the Pictory software. Number one, you have the script to video portion. Number two, the article to video portion. Number three, the edit videos using text. Number four, visuals to video. Now let's talk about the script to video. Here is where you can create educational videos and listicle videos, coaching videos, and also step-by-step -step guides. Now we'll get into the breakdown of this in a moment, but this should help you understand each section. The articles to video function allows you to take any URL or website link and create a video. So you can create it from a blog post, press release, or any HTML article. Now you will need to be careful when you do this because this is someone else's content. So you may need to use a service to change the article before you create this type of video. You may need to use something like Spin Rewriter or some other service to rewrite the content. The edit video using text function allows you to add subtitles to any video. You can cut portions of the video out using the text editor. You can create highlights of your longer content like your podcast, live videos from YouTube or any other long form content. If I'm gonna just be honest here and let you know, this is why most of you should pick up this software. It will allow you to break down your long form content for YouTube Shorts, Instagram, and other social media websites, and that also includes TikTok. You can cut portions of the video and create video highlights. And the neat part is you can add your own logo, an intro and outro. And now I'm gonna get into that in some other videos. So you wanna make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Now the visuals to video you can create short video clips using your existing images and video clips. Now this should be a time saver and there are a couple of programs that you can do this with and I'm gonna share that into in some future videos. So that's the basic rundown of the software. Now let's get into the demo and my review and a behind the scenes look at the software. Okay, when logging into Pictory, one of the this will be the initial screen that you will see now i've sort of blurred out some information here because i just don't want you to get distracted um, i just want you to really focus on the four uh, modules or the four little sections here that we've already covered now you will see the script to video the article to video the edit videos using text and the visuals to video option now below each option you will also see in the cutout that I showed you what each one of these particular sections will do for you. All right. Now to get started uh, with your script to video, you would simply start by typing or copying and pasting a script inside of the software. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the scripts, I should say, or one of the articles that I've already completed and we're going to use that to sort of uh, make a video here and we'll use that as far as this particular section is concerned so what i'm going to do is you give me a second here i'm going to go ahead and grab a script here i'm going to copy and paste it and let's copy 
and we're going to paste it here. We're going to call it test video. And we're going to hit uh, the word proceed. Once you hit proceed, you're going to actually choose your template. Now, the wonderful thing about Pictory is Pictory has all of these options for you to choose from as far as how you would like for it to appear on the screen. You can appear. Uh, these are your options as far as what the text is going to look like when it actually shows up on your screen. And this is something that you need to be considering, especially when you're making certain types of videos, because you may not necessarily want the text to be centered or right justified. But a lot of this stuff you can adjust later. But this just gives you a general idea of what you can do. And just for the sake of this video, we're going to do corporate. And we're also going to then choose the aspect ratio of 16.9, which is a wider screen video. And it's going to start working to produce the storyboard. Now, the storyboard is what you're going to use to sort of edit the video. And it's going to go out there and grab videos from story blocks. It's going to take everything that you've written and it's going to put that into place so that you can use that inside of the video now once you actually get done with this you can actually uh, start to work on it as you can see it filled out a whole paragraph and this is something like i said that you can change now if you look here on scene number two it's sort of broken into a very long sentence and what you can do here is you can actually split the scene and you can split the scene by high, uh, highlighting, I believe it is. Yes. And then you split the scene. And hopefully this will move quickly. Okay, wait. Okay, so that's that scene. Are you looking to start a YouTube channel? And I want to split this scene here. Let me go here. And, and as you can see, it's going to use some story blocks. Let me split this and then uh, we'll continue. Now, for the sake of this video, I want to let you know, in order for you to split the scene, all you need to do is to separate the two sentences and then hit the word split scene, and then it'll split it for you. So this is how it starts. Are you looking to start a YouTube channel and scene two? And I still don't, well, for the sake of this video, we'll be fine with that. Because um, that's a longer little bit of a sentence. Well, let's just do this. Let's split it. Let's split the. Let's split it again. All right. And so what we'll do is we'll make it a little bit smaller. Um, all right. So there we go. So you would actually go in here and you would put, type in your script. And it would actually give you that. Now, each section here is going to help you to finalize your video. Now, let's say you're working with this particular scene. Are you looking to start a YouTube channel, right? And all right, let's go to this one because uh, it says, are you one of the thousand of people who, who can truly see the potential of YouTube? You can actually come over here to visuals. And you can actually change that particular visual. Um, and you can actually change it so that in the actual story, are you looking to start a YouTube channel? Starts there. And you can do it on a scene by scene basis, right? So when you come back up here, you've got that. And then. You have, you have it on a scene-by-scene -scene basis on the bottom. Now, it's keeping uh, this particular scene a couple of times. So, uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get a different visual for here. Uh, 
Let's change this visual. Okay. Um, let's see here. Now, um, the reason why it was actually keeping the same video for each scene, because they were actually linked. And so what I want to do is un you got to unlink these scenes in order to change each one of them. Okay. Uh, so that's another little, little tidbit of help there. And uh, I'm going to give you, we're going to change that scene. So we have this scene for the first one, this scene for the second one. So you can actually come over here and adjust the visuals of each one of these. Okay. You also have textures textures you can use you can do is upload you can also highlight some recent ones that you like and you can uh, favorite those and use those as well okay now getting back to the story you actually have some audio here that is applied automatically i just typically take the audio off and don't apply any audio especially if you're going to do your own voiceover um, you can actually focus in on the style that you want so you can adjust your, your style. You can do an intro. You can also have an outro that you put in here as well that will play before and after your video has been generated. If you're doing some sort of branding, you can actually uh, put your intro visual in here. Um, you can actually do all of that stuff here as well as your logo positioning. So for your, your scene, you can move your logo where you want it. If you want it in different places and spaces, you can do that. You can adjust the logo opacity as well as choose your templates, etc. And of course, going back to the format. Okay, so this is how you would actually make a video. All right, now what I recommend that you do is that you can record your voiceover to just make it easy for yourself before you ever get inside of the software so that once you generate the video, you can just upload your audio here. Because when you come here, you can just say my uploads, drag and drop your upload and it will apply your audio to this entire video and it will go, it'll use the AI software to determine you know the the entire script so it'll it'll work once you actually upload it into the scene there all right and so this is actually how you use the storyboard function of this and all you would simply do is come over and hit the word generate and you're going to generate a video and it's going to create uh, and start generating the video for you now you'll see that it says video generated you can actually go ahead and download the video now you can copy a link or you can export the text, okay? Now it's saved under the My Projects tab. And so the video has been generated, okay? And you can simply click on My Projects and your video is going to be here, all right? So now let's go back to the dashboard and let's start with the second uh I don't know what that means, but anyway, let's start with the second section here, which is the article to video. This is where you can copy any URL and use that inside of this section. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to copy the URL from this particular blog and we're going to paste it here and we're going to hit the word proceed. And what it's going to do is it's going to extract all of the key messages inside of the article. So whatever the AI software deems that these are key points that it wants to highlight, it's going to take those key points and it's going to generate the article from those key points. Once it's done with generating those uh, key points, here, here is the, the article here. Okay, It's going to highlight the key points that it feels like it, it needs to highlight. Now, of course, you can adjust this later, guys. You can highlight on any one of these and adjust uh, whatever you want, okay? So it says, hi, uh, how to write if you suck at writing, growth tools. It's 5.02 a.m. on a Friday and I'm writing this. Okay, so what I would do, um, you know, uh, probably you don't really need this, so you could take this off. Right. And it'll adjust it over here. Um, so number one, enter the buffer validation method. Most of the tweets on my personal account get blah, blah, blah. And then you could just go down here and adjust what you want or add what you want. And when you add it, it's going to be green. And then you're going to be able to 
to generate your video. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I don't want to make it too long, uh, but it's you got you could go and highlight the points that you want. Okay, uh, all right. So that's the first thing. So the next thing I would say. Uh, there we go. And you might, it'll might highlight some of this stuff in the other stuff. So it says the estimated video duration is about one minute, but you would just simply go and highlight it and it'll add whatever to the scene. Okay. And it'll base it basically added based on the flow that it is in the article. So you just need to know that as well. All right. And so all you would simply do is click next and you would actually generate uh, the video you'd pick your your template that you like right um let's see here we'll choose this one we'll select this one 16 by 9 continue it's going to go ahead and generate the video all right the video has been generated and here is your script anytime if you need to adjust anything here or type anything here guys you can you can make those adjustments okay um, so if you needed to type anything over here, you would be able to do that. All right. So that's that. And just for the sake of this video, it's going to give you all of these, these scenes. And you just want to make sure that the scenes go along with the actual audio voiceover narration. That's what you want to do. All right. And I've already covered this on the other side. So it's the same information. And once you've got everything in here, the way that you like it, you would just hit generate video um and hit the video generate video scene and then it will go ahead and generate the video for you once the video is generated you get this dialog box and you can go to the my projects tab and see your video that your video has been created and there's our video so it makes it really really fast guys all right so let's go here let's go to uh, so we did the article to video. Now let's do an existing video. This is where this will actually add subtitles to a video that you've created, cut portions of the video. It will create video highlights, etc. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up my, uh, hold on, let me move it over here. I'm going to open up my video deal. I've already gone and grabbed a video here called test video and we're going to proceed with that and it's going to go ahead and upload that video and get that video prepared for us and as you can see it moves really quickly it's going to go ahead and transcribe the video and then we'll be able to work with the video from there okay once the video has been generated um, this will give you the entire script now if you see this right here this is all silence right and you can actually come over here and toggle this uh, and you can hit OK and it will remove all of the silence that you had in the video. OK, just like that. And you can always go back if you want it. You can also remove the filler words as well. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So all of your ums and ahs, all you have to do is click a button and they're gone. I kid you not. That is totally awesome. And so you can literally do that and it will actually play uh, this for you. And, you know, it'll actually use that. And so it's pretty awesome. Now, let me just turn on the system audio. Let's see if we can play this a bit. Okay, everybody, thank you so much. And I wanted to walk you guys through the process of showing you how to break down the pieces of content from longer forms of pieces of content, and it'll read off the script for you. Now, let's say, for instance, you wanted to highlight a certain portion of this or break down a certain portion of this uh, to just use on social media, right? Um, so uh, let's say, for instance, it was just this sentence, right? So you could highlight this, right? And you could say add to highlights. And what's going to happen is it's going to generate this and it's going to generate this and, you know, create it. Now, this is one video here, okay? 
and then you could click on download video clips but this is one clip so when you play this uh, it will actually be one clip all right and so you can uncheck that and custom now let me go back to the transcription uh, now that was just for highlighted if you wanted to highlight stuff okay now once you're done this will be your srt format that you can upload to youtube for your closed captions so all you would have to do is click on this and this will actually bring up your closed captions for this particular situation and you could just upload that onto youtube right and of course you've got your templates and all your stuff down at the bottom here and so you could change that all right you can edit the words you can merge stuff uh, let me go here and let's go this uh yeah um four minutes uh and it says creating video highlights and because i changed the percentage all right and so that's what it's doing for the highlights and I shouldn't have done it that way, but it's a whole nother story. <laughs> but it highlighted it and it used all of this. And of course, I would never use all of that. So, you know, you would have to just go in and do it line by line based on what you want to use. Okay. Now, uh, let's see here. Did we do that? We're going to go back over here. And of course, the visuals to video is very simple. You're just going to drag and drop your images in here and you're going to proceed and then you're going to work with your images on each particular one. OK, now, if you like this tutorial, please make sure that you hit the thumbs up button. Please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and come back so you can get other inside looks into some of the software and stuff that we use. Um, if you are using this software and you like it, please make sure that you hit uh, and, and leave me a comment below and tell me uh, some uses that you use the software for if this is a tool that you like and you enjoy. Um, thank you guys so very much for watching this particular video. If you have not yet gotten my free download of the YouTube checklist, please make sure that you download that for yourself as well. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.